and then split off for two lights. So it's one light and then get the splitter so we can have two lights on one circuit. All right, so here's the rest of that Traveler set up. For now, I'm just gonna connect this. Lose the wing nut, dang it. All right, we're gonna hook up the positive first. That way we don't have to worry about grounding out because I'm doing this with one hand. Should be worried about this wing nut, dude. It's doing extra work. Next thing you know, it's gonna be like, uh, we need to talk about retirement options. It's gonna go on disability because we ruined it. Now it's time to hook up the light. Now we'll mount the relay later, but as for right now, we drilled this hole already. I'm just gonna send it through that same hole if I can. See if I can grab it from the other side. Rubber grommet, rubber grommets might be a future option. They're not a right now option though. Sorry for the wind. Now Mark's already got them set up here and I'll show you how easy this is. All right, so you saw how much we connected all that. This is where the traveler system becomes, you know, A-OK. -okay. That's all we gotta do to connect the lights. See our backup lights on. And here's our other backup light.